Welcome to the Avery Waytronics operation video for the FLSC 05 forklift scale and FLI 225 instrument. This video will demonstrate daily inspection procedures and some of the operation routines you may encounter during a shift. Please always keep safety first in your mind as you operate any forklift. This includes wearing safety shoes and protective eyewear. Before you operate your forklift, you need to be sure that it is in good working condition. As you start your shift, take note of your forklift's general condition. Look for telltale signs of trouble, such as leaks and frayed or cut wires. Check the scale carriage for loose, worn, or broken components. Inspect the forks for damage, checking for cracks, or bent forks. Next, check the locking pins for proper functioning. If they do not operate, immediately contact your supervisor. Check the FLJ100 junction box and the shield protecting the junction box and the cables. Check to be sure the bolts holding the bottom mounting hooks are in place. Check the interface cable. Make sure it is not frayed or cut. Check all connections on the back of the instrument. Report any damage you find. Check the indicator for proper mounting. Be sure it is not loose and that the ISO mounts are still in place. Check the ground clearance for the forks. To do this, level the forks and lower the carriage completely. There should be one half to one inch of clearance between the forks and the floor. Power up the 225 by pressing the on-off key. After the startup routine, the display looks like this. It shows the weight mode, the unit of measure, the center of zero or motion enunciator, and the weight on the scale. The 225 has three application modes. Classic with print enabled, classic with accumulator enabled, and expanded mode. See the service manual for instructions on setting the application mode. Here's an example of the classic mode with print enabled. Zero the scale. Lift the pallet you want to weigh. The screen shows the weight of the pallet. Press the print key to send this information to a connected peripheral device. Remove the pallet. Press the zero key if you need to zero the scale and you're ready for the next pallet. We'll now show an example of the expanded mode. As you can see, the screen is slightly different. It still shows the weighing mode, the unit of measure, the center of zero icon, the weight, but in expanded mode, you also have soft keys. These keys are the ID key for entering identification information for the pallet being weighed, such as pro number or work order number. The pallet key, which you use to enter the estimated number of pallets in this pro number or work order. And the operator key, which you use to enter an operator number. We'll show you an example of using this expanded mode. At the beginning of the shift, the operator should enter their number. Press the operator key, the F3 key, and use the up and down arrow keys to scroll in the first number. Press the zero key to move the cursor to the next position. And repeat this until the number is complete. Press the enter key to save this number. This operator number will remain active until a new number is entered. To start weighing, press the ID key and using the same procedure as just described, key in the identification number for this pallet. When you're finished, press the enter key to save this ID number. This ID number will be associated with all pallets weighed and stored by pressing the print key until you enter a new ID number. The FLI-225 can store up to 350 transactions in memory. Press the pallet key and scroll in the number of pallets in this pro number or work order. The default value is 1 and we're lifting just one pallet, so press the enter key to accept. Now lift the pallet and the display shows the weight. 
Press the print key to store the transaction in memory or to print to a connected peripheral device. Remove the weight, zero the scale if necessary, and you're ready for the next pallet. To download all the transactions in memory, connect your peripheral device to the serial port on the 225. Then press and hold the print key for 5 seconds. Highlight the action you want to take. Print the accumulation report. Print the transaction report. Print both reports. Or clear all the totals. And then press the Enter key to accept. When finished, the screen will return to the Report menu screen. Press the Escape key to return to normal operation mode. You're now ready for the next transaction. This completes the operation video for the FLSC 05 carriage and FLI 225 instrument. Thank you from Avery Waytronic.